Hey guys, I'm Tim Langs with Red Dog Bushcraft. I've been doing a little bit of studying up on plants and different medicinal uses for plants. And one of them that I was looking up, or one of the type of plants I was looking up, was it had to do with healing properties of breathing. And the way you actually ingested this plant was smoking. And there are several of them out there. So it created the idea in my mind, or I came up with the idea to create a small leather pouch since I have all of this leather from the couch skinning videos, and I wanted to continue on with that. So I decided I would make a little wallet type bag, or actually I guess it would be a tobacco bag, and we're going to use it to put different types of herbs and plants in later on. So since I didn't have one, I went out and I found me a pipe. This is just a little... Uh, corn cob pipe and I wanted to make this pouch big enough that that pipe would fit down in there with the different plant materials that we'll be using later on. So I'll bring you in here a little bit closer and I'll show you what we've already prepped up with the leather and exactly what we're going to do. Stay with me. Okay, utilizing some of the same tools as we had in the other video except this time we're actually going to use this uh, leather all and we will not be using the punch and I don't think we're going to use the paracord but we'll see. Uh, all I did was I took a straight edge and I squared up the edges or uh, made these straight. I determined how large I wanted my pouch by just folding it over kind of laying the pipe in there to get an idea of you know I, I don't expect to be holding a lot of material in here for smoking I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to try this stuff or not. It's just a, uh, it seemed very interesting to me, so I thought I would try it. So to figure out how much I need this way, I could make this to where the top just folds over. But I think what I'm going to do is have it to where it folds over, and then this is the halfway line that would come to here. Or I could actually continue it and cut it off up here. I think for the time being, I'm going to extend this line up and instead of having it fall at the halfway mark, I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit long with the theory that I can always cut it off um, and make it shorter, but I certainly can extend it at all. So with a simple finding out how deep I want my bag, that will be my top loop. This will be my overlap and that will allow me time. Uh, enough leather to hopefully roll the pipe up in. This right here gives me pretty much the maximum amount of leather that I can have before this seam. I think I'm going to just go ahead and cut that off right there. And to do that, I'm just going to use a good pair of scissors. Actually, I think I'm going to mark that. That looks like that edge could be just a little bit crooked where that was sewn. So I'll take this, put me a straight line, take my scissors and come in here and just cut this leather off. Now I must say this leather is very nice to work with. It's very soft and supple and uh, I think it's going to be great for making little bags and pouches like this. And I'm looking around on YouTube trying to get some ideas of a few different projects that I can work on. And as I do those, I'm going to bring you along for several of them until we get used to working with some of this softer leather before I use some good, strong, thick uh, leather that I have uh, that we'll be doing some projects with that are going to require something a little bit stiffer and more substantial. Now to sew this up, all I'm going to do is turn it inside out like this and I'll sew it and then flip it back around so that this is my outside and this is my inside. So let's get this folded over on the lines here. Just like that. And I think I'm going to uh, start at the top. Now with using this you want to make sure that you have plenty of string for weaving in between get this up to where my corners line up with where I want the uh, top to be. Come right here in this corner 
and make my first stitch supporting the leather on both sides pull that down and then I want this first thread to come all the way out like that and then I'm going to back that out I'm going to come right here beside it push my next stitch through pull back creating this little loop right here and then this thread that's left on the back side will go through that loop and holding that we pull this down give it a gentle tug not enough to upset the stitches but enough where the stitch looks appropriate on both sides I'm going to continue this all the way down to the bottom and then I can tie that off and I'll bring you right back okay I know this is hard to see but we have finished up our stitching that not look too bad on that side not quite as good on that side here was my first attempt <laughs> a little sloppy but it's going to be on the inside of the bag and we're going to take our strings and we'll do the double here like the safety stitch we'll do it the opposite way the double knot there kind of like the uh, shoestring trick you know when you tie your shoes and instead of just doing a simple overhand knot you do an overhand and then you do another overhand same type thing and then a third just to make sure pull that down we'll clip those off burn the ends give them a little melt on that cordage just to keep that from unwinding and a little bit of heat on the knot itself same thing on the other side and we'll be ready to turn our pouch inside out a little heat a little heat little knot. We'll flip this in and we'll see what our seams look like. Ain't that neat. Get that little corner popped back out there. There we go. Tools out of the way here. Corners in a little bit. Well there we go. Now it rolls up a little bit on the corners and I chose to not angle that so that when you're holding it like this your material doesn't fall out. That's big enough to put the pipe in and to fold over. Now I cut me a small piece of leather here to use as a closure. We can go ahead and punch some holes if we decide to do that. But, uh, and I think I'll do that. I think I'll punch a couple of holes right here. And that may even allow us to fold the pipe up like that. Now, I could use a paracord to do this or a leather, a piece of leather strap. But I think what I'm going to do, come back up in here, I think I'll find the center. Okay, like that. I'll come back maybe three eighths of an inch from the top, three eighths from the other side. Pull that up. Now I cut me a piece of leather here. And this was just a scrap that I cut off the side, but you see how I left that in the center? Looks like a little license plate hanging down. That should go right between my holes. I'll trim that up just a little bit so that it fits. Just like that. That should fit in between those, which it does. I can put one through here. stubborn but that's okay and you'll notice that these taper they are skinny on the ends where I needed to thread them and they're thick where they come through the hole 
So now what we wind up with is a little bit of a reinforced patch there and two strings hanging out on this side. So now what we can do is we can put our uh, whatever we want on the inside here. This will make a great little pouch for storing anything. I mean, it doesn't have to be for this uh, plant, the uh, smoking material. It could be for pretty much anything. Right now, I'm just going to use it to keep my pipe in. Roll this up like this. And now I've got my tie strings. Flip that over. Just a little old uh, square knot. And there's our nice little pouch. All right. All right, well that was a fun little project. It only took a few minutes and I think my stitching is getting a little bit better. So we'll see how we progress as we move along with some other projects. But that's it for today. I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft, home of global safety and survival. Thanks for joining me today. God bless.